Salutations wet shavers, Spencer here for another shave video and this one I'm really excited for. I built up my growth, it's on about mm, three days growth, so there's a decent bit there, decent, uh, decent amount of yeah, growth to cut off. We have, most importantly, morning cup of joe ready to go, AeroPress, Ethiopian single origin, very nice. Mm. Ah, just gonna have to wait for that to kick in. I'm a bit tired this morning. And then for the razor, I'm gonna be going the Alpha Ecliptic with a brand new Permasharp blade. So I wanted the Permasharp to tackle this just to see how smooth it is. And this is my favorite Daily Ball blade. It's the smoothest, gives me the smoothest shades, I think, out of any brush. Out of any brush, hey? <laughs> out of any razor. Yo, can you tell I woke up 20 minutes ago? <laughs> and then brush today. Going to be using the Shave Mac. Two band silver tip. This thing is the super dense knot. So 24 mil, I can't remember the loft, but it's not that high. It's a really dense brush. It's a phenomenal face feel. It literally creates like a vacuum and like sticks to your face. It's just awesome. And then for the soap today, we're gonna to be going fuzzy face, dragon's blood. This just smells of incense. Yeah, really nice. Spices are really warming. So that, uh, that's why I picked this one up this morning. Yeah, very nice, cool. So I've had the brush soaking. I don't normally soak my brushes, but I'm trying it today. It's been soaking for probably 10 minutes. So we're gonna pour all that water out. And look at all this. That was a terrible view, but at least it got in the sink. Okay. Run on a warm water. I'm gonna wet the face. So lately, basically every night, I'll get this brush, Shave Mac brush, and I'll load it up, lather it up, and just lather it onto my face. By the way, I'm gonna load this dry, dry brush. I've been doing it wet lately, but I've been doing it wet, but I'm going in dry today. <laughs> oh Lord. What was I saying before? I'm useless. I thought, I thought there was no damn water in this brush. It just hides it. So, just like razors, light with pressure. So I'm just getting it on the tips. You don't really want it going down into the base of the knot, because then that's when it starts eating leather. Because retainment is really high with badges. So it retains that leather right in the bottom. So if you're loading when it's fully splayed, it's just gonna suck up into the base of the knot. It's not gonna get onto your face. You need it flowing through the tips. So that's a nice, nice load, probably 20 seconds worth. Gonna rinse that puck off. Great smell, this is a tallow base. So, pretty sure it has lanolin in it, or does it? I, I'll have a look. Purified water, stearic acid, tallow, shea butter, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, coconut oil, castor oil, sodium hydroxide, fragrance oil, and sunflower oil. So, so no lanolin or anything, but it's a super slick soap, actually. Really surprised. Now I haven't used this soap for a shave before, but I've lathered it up on my face and I was just super happy with it.
But yeah, I did a really immense lather on my face last night. But with the really intense face feel, I can still feel it on my face. How intense the, the lather was. Oh, it's more so the brush, just the face feels really intense. Hope everyone's been well. They're putting a little bit too much water. So it's all starting to flow down to the base of the knot. That's why I tried to load it a bit dry. I still find boar hair the hardest to use. I do admit though, it creates an amazing leather, but just doesn't beat a boar for me for some reason. Speaking of boar brushes, I'm about to, I haven't even done it yet, I'm about to buy a boar brush, a 30ml boar from Whip Dog. How, how awesome is that going to be? Can't wait for that. As you can see, really nice lather going on here. This brush does make a really good lather. All right. Really, really nice lather that. I'm happy with that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Another sip of coffee. Hmm. Rocking with PAAL for ecliptic. First use. Perma sharp. Really hard to line up sideburns with this. <laughs> wow. Three days growth, no problem. I can see how getting under the nose might be a bit hard for someone with this razor because it's a really, it's a, it's a fat head. On this half, it's like a normal DE and then on this side, it's a lot taller.
and still, even when it's aluminium, no pressure. It's just the pressure of getting the angle and leaving it on your face and just going straight down. You guys got any new razors on the way? I hope you do. I recently bought a razor that came in yesterday morning. Got it sitting right there, looks awesome. So comfortable, really comfortable and really efficient. <laughs> wow. Oh. Yeah, that's way more comfortable with a lot of days growth. Rinse the face. Wow. It's so close. That's really efficient, that razor. I love that. By the way, you thought I wasn't gonna tell you what my new razor was, didn't you? <laughs> Titanium Razor Rock Baby Smooth. I'm really excited to use this. The head looks identical to a Wonder Bar, but just straight. So, I'm not sure how it shaves compared to a Wonder Bar. I would assume it's not as efficient. The blade gap in there looks less than in the, uh, in the Wonder Bar. If you know, type in the comment section, please. I've got no idea. I, yeah. I just saw this on the buy sell trade and I was like, yep, <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that. So, so much for no more purchases for a while. Hey, what the hell? Got like a heap of new brush. Whoa. Almost dropped my brush. Woohoo! The one annoying thing about short handles. The lather that gets on them, especially this brush. This is the only one I have the trouble with. Which is why it's very frustrating because it's the only $250 brush I have. The closest that I have to that price is my massive Mammoth Manchurian. Ain't no way I'm getting shit on my hands with a handle like that. <laughs> yeah, it's something that annoys me. I think I added too much water at the start. I don't really know this soap that well. Yeah, no. Nah. Actually, I'm gonna rock with that. That's coming up nice now. For a second pass, second and third passes, I just need slickness. This is definitely not what I thought it was gonna be. I've been getting way better lathers than this. Cause I've been doing test lathers, so I'll do one lather, wipe it off, use it again. So yeah, for me, bores all the way. It's still a great brush and it's still probably never gonna leave my den cause bragging rights, it's, it's a shave mac. But, this is a far superior brush. 20 bucks. Mm. 
I'm glad this is how I wanted it to be. Not exactly a daily, but an efficient shaver. Comfortable and efficient. So if I'm being quiet, this razor is so enjoyable to use. Really liking it. Very, very nice. Leather's not dissipating, even when it's this thin. It looks thin, but... I'm gonna go comfort today, I think, so... No against the grain, I'll just be doing the cross grain. Good slickness. Really good slickness with this soap. What have you guys got in the post right now? Anything you've been hanging for for a very long time? I'm finally, after probably a year and a half of wet shaving, I'm finally getting a barrister and man soap. <laughs> I saw some for a very good price on Beard and Blade. It was Seville for $28.95 Australian, so it's really good for over here. Okay. So, I'm going to quickly just rinse off, not, not the lather, just the handle, damn handle, and just load a little bit more from this small tub. I'm actually a big fan of metal tins, I love them. I get why people don't like them, it totally makes sense. I just like the feeling of it, so all my squadron soaps, I'm really glad I got most of them. We, uh, without the plastic tub because now the new tubs just big generic black tub which is fine I mean I totally I totally get it but ugh. metal tins are cool my cold river soap works is one of my favorite packaging right next to wolf pack also am I getting a reaction to this I hope not it's a good smell I don't think so. Oh, that was too much water. No, it's taking it well though. I'm getting used to badges, but these super dense ones feel completely different to use compared to like a regular finest for me because I found those really easy to use straight away but I've found this one quite a challenge but when I've gotten a good lather oh my god the lather's been good yeah so I mean I get it but I don't recommend it. 
expensive brushes. And I mean, it's very hard to help yourself. I know, because you look at the price and go, oh, look at that, it's so damn expensive. That's got to be just the best. And you get it and I think a lot's in your head with how good it is. But to me, there's no doubt that this whips up an amazing leather. But me trying to be unbiased, I still think that bores are way better. Just as soon as it comes to that value aspect, I cannot justify $250 for this and you can pay $25 for that. Or, you know, uh, whatever prices for other sy synthetics and e even horsehair is pretty cheap. All right. One more cross grain and that'll be it for today. Yeah, it's super close already. I don't even need to do this. It's not cutting much, hey? There is not a lot left. Oh yeah. Probably gonna go with fine snake bite again today for the aftershave. I've been thinking for that. That's why I was super quiet just then. I was just like, post shave. What am I gonna use? Oh, wow. Wow. So I'm in the midst of selling my car. Actually, not in the midst, but... Planning on selling my car. It's just... I'm a car person and I mainly bought this car because it was a steal for the money. It's not a fun car to drive. And mum sort of gets it, so she's like, look, you need, you need a car that you love driving. So I'm looking at a little MX-5. Yeah, awesome fun to drive. I keep forgetting how good morning shaves are. Like you just go into the day feeling amazing. I don't think the Allen block's gonna be talking much today. Oh, might do, might do along here, which is just my normal area. Nah, not a lot. Considering how close it is, not a lot. Hmm. 
Not a lot around the chin for once. That's really nice. What is it nice though? The fucking taste. <laughs> Gross. All right, that, that was really nice. Yeah, I'm excited to use that Razor Rock Baby Smooth now. I have to say, I thought this was going to be a heap heavier. Titanium is really cool. It's like an in-between between aluminium and stainless. It's got the feel of stainless. The like quality assurance of stainless, but with the partial lightweightness of Aluminium, but it's not as light as aluminium, but It's nowhere near as heavy as stainless and that handles really nice. I Love that sort of stuff really good The only one that I've got that's similar that looks similar is the x3 Icon x3, but look at that blade gap. That's an efficient razor So this might not be who knows it all comes down to blade gap and blade exposure, how much the blade is actually protruding from the head. And then blade gap, the distance between the safety bar and the top cap. Post show feel. Oh, I've, I've done the, <laughs> the Allen block, therefore. Because I was going to say, it's not that great. <laughs> Don't listen to me, I haven't had two coffees yet. After I have two coffees and... I'm a little bit more comprehensible. Mm. Got work today, how long have I got? Hour and a half till I go to work, plenty of time. Sweet. So we're just gonna take, scoop out this leather from the brush. There's a bit in there. When you load this properly, I've easily been able to do the three passes. I just added, I think I left too much water in the brush when I loaded it. Once again, just like Chris, I'm trying to master this brush. See, I think that's the thing for me right now is the inconsistency I'm getting with this brush. With bore, I've never had a bad lather. I've never not been able to do the three passes like I normally do. So for me, it's just very odd to come into a brush this price and really have to learn it and tame it. Tame the animal. Still brilliant nonetheless, don't, don't get me wrong. But the learning curve, along with the price, and along with the performance difference, I, don't, I just can't justify it. But if you have the money and like it, go for it, man. It, they do look awesome. I mean, that brush looks beautiful to me. It's one of my favorite, favorite brushes. It just looks awesome because everything else in here is white too. So you just got the white handle, you got the really dark hairs here, and then you got the silver tip on top. Really, really nice. It's a beautiful looking brush. This actually reminds me of, I think Chris was saying the game changer knot does it. And, and not the boss knot. When you like tip it to one side, see how the tip of the loft sort of goes over? But it doesn't on one other side really. Yeah, it's like that. It doesn't have perfect memory, but I mean you can't tell when you're shaving it. It's just something I noticed because I really like to try and keep it straight <laughs> needs to be straight when I put it next to all the other brushes if it's on a lean I can't deal with it okay face is starting to feel good now it's really nice and dry we're gonna throw on these two splendid products 
find the snake bite, and we're going to go with the after balm bows. The stray whisker here in Australia. Just to add in a little bit more slickness onto the face and a little bit more moisturization. On snake bite. Oh, I love this stuff. <laughs> Ready, go. Barely any burn. Because of the Allen block. But here comes the menthol. Oh yeah. Wrong. Probably not the best choice for winter, but I just felt like it. I don't care. Ah. Mm. Awesome. So that was a brilliant shade with a brilliant razor that I absolutely love. That is definitely right at the top in terms of a shaver for me. I've just remembered I haven't even used my above the tie R1 yet, so I'll probably have to use that then before the baby smooth. Actually, let me know in the comments what you would rather see. An above the tie R1. Let me just grab them. Which one would you prefer to see first? You have the Razor Rock baby smooth. Oh, if I can see. And titanium. And then you have the above the tie with the Kronos handle? R1. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, so post down in the comments what you would rather see. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for today. That's dried in really quickly. I'm gonna go stray whisker after, but this is probably gonna feel really cold on the face as well. Just a little bit, not too much. This stuff's really good. It reminds me of the Sterling Balms. Oh, yeah. And the closeness of that is so surprising. That is really close to BBS. It's this. I think it's a slant thing. My neck gets so damn close when I use a slant. I get n normally more weepers. Today I've got one and it closed up pretty quick. But it's so efficient on the neck because I noticed that last shave as well, even though it was only a day's growth, I noticed that on the neck it was so damn efficient. So, what a shave that was. Whew. So now it's time to have some brekkie and then go off to work. So it's almost my weekend. Or oh, what day is it today? Is it Monday? Tuesday? Let me just, uh, it is Tuesday. So tomorrow is my Friday. Thank God, can't wait. Have a day off on Thursday to go drink a lot more coffee. So I'm probably gonna have another one before work. Love the stuff. Anyway, perfect shave. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm absolutely loving that Alpha Ecliptic. Really good. At least I know now the performance matches its looks, which is all I wanted. I think even if it didn't perform well, I'd still keep picking it up just for the looks. It's just phenomenal. Just a gorgeous... Beautiful razor, I love it. Anyway, I'm rambling on, I really need to go. <laughs> you guys take care, stay safe, and have some splendid shapes, everyone. Take care.